What is happening, y'all? Cowboy here, and let me ask you a question. How would you like to make enemies just explode in Cyberpunk? Well, today we're going to talk about how with a Netrunning build. Now, I didn't get a chance to play Netrunning back in base Cyberpunk, but it has been all I have been using in Phantom Liberty, and even without playing anything else, I think this is one of the strongest builds in the game. Like, stuff just dies. Like, oh no, this is Cyber Psychos. Nope, never mind. He's not coming for me because he just took a 54,000 crit to the face. Uh, this build just like looks at enemies and they blow up. We're able to do insane amounts of burst damage like you saw right there. We're able to do tons of AoE damage. Like there's really nothing this build doesn't do well. Uh, I would say the only downside of it is we are kind of squishy because we're Netrunner. I think that's expected. You know, Netrunners are uh, the mage of the game, if you will. Uh, but even then, you know, the, the squishiness doesn't even really matter that much because of the fact that we're able to kill stuff so fast. We don't need to get near enemies. We don't need to engage. We're able to just blow them up. And that's what makes this so insanely strong. So real fast, just to show that wasn't like some particular setup, we're gonna go do the, the uh, bloody ritual cyber psycho. I think a lot of people consider that to be one of the harder ones. Uh, it's also going to be killed instantaneously. We're just gonna look at it, go hack, 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 and it's gonna die. Uh, the build also uses smart weapons, which are very fun. Just look at this. There we go. They're all dead. Didn't need to move. Didn't even really need to aim. Just like, it's like, oh, there's guys over here. And they're dead. And I can, you know, come on up. Get a free headshot to finish things off. Uh, but yeah, really, really good. We got a couple of things that we've added into the build for some flair, like air dashing, and then a little bit of uh, cyberware capacity just to help bolster things even farther. So let's make our way on over. We're going to knock out this other cyber psycho, and then right before we blow her up, we'll actually take a look at the build and talk about everything we are working with and why. Take that off so I can see where it's at. There you are. Yeah, and like I said, I've, I didn't get to play this in the old Cyberpunk. I did a, a tech build back then, but I gotta say, man, net running is fun. It is really fun, because we are just like, pew, 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 just people are just dying left and right. The smart gun, we're able to curve bullets around walls and hit people. We got a, a tech rifle as backup to shoot people through walls if for some reason we're, we're not able to, to get a kill. If for some reason that you need uh oh no, I did not mean to do that! I was going to say another, another fun thing about this build is the fact that you don't need to worry about body to steal cars anymore because we can just hijack them uh, using using the take control feature with the vehicles. It automatically overrides it, so you don't need to worry about a body requirement at all. You just take control, which is super sweet. I don't need you to tell me where to go, Regina. I've done this before. What in the fuck? You okay? Alright, so we just gotta scan some corpses real fast. Remember, we gotta scan the bodies. The hell is this? We gotta examine that. I know you have a shard on you, don't you? Better look around. Yeah, there we go. We got that. Crack security on you real fast. Uh, one C. 55 BD, one C. I mean, the, the sequences over here are shorter with this build, so you're you're constantly hacking stuff left and right. Get you, and then it should be... Yeah, examine that body, and then this, and I think that's our fight. Well, while she is busy getting ready to spawn, let's actually talk about the build, what we are using, the synergy, why it all works so well. So to start, I'm going to talk about the cyberware. Now, given I just hit level 40, so this is only going to be stronger if you go up to tier 5 components. Uh, but I want to talk about from bottom up what you should be looking for to build this. Now, over in uh, our first category here, the inter-augmentary, 
I really like optical camo for this build. We're, we're basically like a mage, so being able to go invisible is just super useful. We can pop this if things get a little hairy. It helps to get us out of combat. Uh, so just, just nice there. And then besides that, our other upgrades here are going to be counter shell and subdermal armor. This is just, you know, further bolstering our defense. We don't necessarily need to have these particular ones, but outside of optical camo, the rest of this category is just bolstering your armor. Early on, I also like a synaptic accelerator. This is going to slow time where they're affected. Yeah, detected. That's going to allow us to look at an enemy, immediately quick hack them, take them out of the equation. Now, as for stuff that you want to prioritize early on, RAM upgrade, mechatronic core. This is going to give you extra RAM and then bonus damage against anything robotic or drone-like. Uh, this, of course, is going to give us intelligence attunement, RAM recovery rate, and extra RAM. Over here, we have RAM Recoup. That's going to help us get back RAM as we take damage. Also, Intelligence Attuned. And then over here, I have Kinetic Frame, which isn't as important, but a solid choice for this build. For the face, we have the Sentry Optics. Those are going to be the Intelligence Attuned. They typically come with Quick Hack Damage. On the hands, you're, of course, going to want Smart Link because we can use Smart Weapons with this build. There's no reason to not use that and how optimal they are. Over in Circulatory, these are really going to be preference. Heal on Kill is Intelligence Attuned, so I would recommend that. Blood Pump, uh, it has Quick Hack Damage on it, and on top of this, uh, this is just like a superior healing potion, so I'm a fan of that one as well. For the legs, I really like Reinforced Tendons to help get around the game. And now, of course, the big one, the Tetratonic Rippler. Now, there are a lot of different cyber decks you can consider when playing a build. You have ones that just give you straight damage bolster, you have ones that are going to help a spread, but the thing that makes the Tetratonic so incredibly potent is the 40% damage with combat quick hacks when they're immediately followed by a non-combat quick hack. So basically the way this works is if we are going to combo up our quick hacks and do control followed by combat, we're just getting a 40% damage boost. And on top of that, there's a couple different perks we can pick up in our tree to make things cheaper. So it's effectively the same cost. And what I mean by this is if we were to look at the cyberware here, this is going to cost uh, seven to cast. But if I cast this first, which costs two, it's going to reduce this to five. So I'm paying the same amount of RAM that I would have to do overheat by itself, except I'm also stunning the enemy. And on top of that, I'm getting a 40% damage boost from the Tetratonic alone. So very, very nice synergies with this build. Uh, real fast, while we're in this category, just talk about the mods we currently have, what we're using and why. Uh, late game, I really like Synapse Burnout. I believe there's a blue version of this, but this is essentially the nuke of the build. This is what finishes off enemies. Uh, does heavy damage. The damage ramps up with the amount of RAM you spent. That's going to have some great synergy with Overclock, with us just basically overspending our RAM and then doing big nukes to enemies. That's how you saw me kill the Cyber Psycho. That's how I'm about to kill the next one. To help synergize with that, I like Cyberware Malfunction. Being able to stack this up... Uh, one, we're disabling cyberware, which is, of course, super useful. On top of that, we get the electrical damage over time, which can be a nice little benefit. Uh, this also has synergy with short circuit. So if you're going up against mechs, for example, you could just hit cyberware malfunction and then go right into a short circuit for a big burst of damage. In a similar fashion, we have reboot optics on, and we're going to open with that and then chain into overheat or open with that and chain into contagion. Generally, if I see a bunch of enemies that are already grouped up, I'll go reboot, contagion, reboot, overheat. I'll pop my uh, overclock and it's just going to spread that onto everything. Everything's going to die. Lastly, I do like keeping ping on. Ping is just useful to have, you know, uh, and tier one is going to be fine. I know the other tiers get better, but they're also more expensive, and I'm not really ready for that level of commitment yet. I mean, even look at this, you know, it's going to cost a five. And the only real difference is I get better lock on speed and a slightly longer duration. I don't really need that. Uh, another big thing to point out here is reboot optics. We keep that at tier two at tier two. That's only going to cost two to execute, which is super nice. Uh, by comparison, if we look at this one, you know, cost seven. And since we're using this as an initiator, the cost really doesn't matter here. We're not, you know, like, yeah, this is going to give us extra headshot damage, but we're looking this we're going to use this as a setup for our overheat and our contagions. So having that only cost two is perfectly fine. Uh, talking about the other stuff we have on, the Genjiro pistol. This is basically uh, whatever that annoying talking pistol is, but just better in every regard. It has shock chance. It's going to hit multiple targets. Really, really solid smart pistol. I like this thing. And another thing about it, too, is look at that reticle. Look how big the reticle is with this. 
really solid choice. The second choice is completely open. I ended up going with this smart shotgun just for the simple fact that I could put the hack autonomy smart weapon mod on it. But you can use whatever you want here. Yeah, that's the thing, the, the skippy. Um, I tried out SMGs, but I didn't like those because it's sharing the same ammo as the pistol. You could go for an assault rifle if you like that. You could go for something that's suppressed. Like I said, open slot. And then lastly, I like having breakthrough here. And the main reason for this being that if there's an enemy I can't get eyes on or I can't see them through a camera, I can use ping and then get headshots via breakthrough through walls. So that works out quite nicely. As for other stuff, this is purely aesthetic. Over here, we can get net running suits for a quick hack damage resistance, just straight armor on the upper body, quick hack upload time reduction on the face, and then the helmet, enemy quick hack upload time uh, increase, which is going to be quite nice. Talking about how we leveled our character, let's start with how you want to build this out. Now, early on, I would suggest coming up the left side of the tree. The main reason for this is we want to build up our hack queue as fast as possible because early on when you don't have access to synapse and being able to detonate enemies like that, you're going to want to be able to still get in good damage and hack queue is going to be what allows you to do that. Uh, so going up this tree, queue acceleration all the way up to queue mastery, this is going to be what allows us to stack multiple hacks up on the enemy and really build up the damage, whether we are doing our synapse burnout or we're doing the combo where we do like uh, control contagion, control overheat. Uh, besides that, some other stuff in this tree that's nice to have. Uh, this I would pick up early. It's pure quality of life, but it's just going to allow you to hit those ciphers that much easier. And those ciphers are going to be where we're getting our quick hack components from. So that is super useful to have. Late game, refund this and put it somewhere else. Uh, but as long as you're still crafting quick hacks, I think this is worth having. Counter hack, super useful to have because a net runner is usually going to be hidden behind a wall. You're going to want to have this. Copy paste is more quality of life, but I do like it. Moving over here to feedback loop. Uh, this isn't going to be huge for us because quick hacks aren't going to be in the queue for too long, but a 25% recovery rate is nice for while they are in queue. Talking about some other stuff, uh, explosion hazard. This is very situational, but it is fun to play around with. I just found it too situational for my liking. And then data recycler. With the queue, the thing is enemies usually die after my quick hacks have finished going through the queue, so I didn't find this as useful. Obviously, Q acceleration is great. Uh, minus one RAM cost for the first quick hack of each unique category that is second or later in the queue. For the type of combos we're doing, that's a no-brainer. It's going to make things cheaper. Uh, mono wire, we're not really getting in close enough to finish with that, even though we do have one equipped. This is more of a flavor thing if you want it. Uh, same with this, 50% upload speed. I'm not terribly worried about this because our upload speeds aren't particularly long to begin with. After you've gotten through that, we're going to work our way up the center of the tree. Optimization is a no-brainer. It's just RAM recovery rate. Uh, we're not really worried about proximate propagation because generally we're not close to our targets. We're also not worried about traceability because even if stuff traces us, it doesn't matter. It's dead. Uh, over here, with duration for quick hacks, stuff's dying too fast for that to really matter. After embedded exploit, I like getting ice pick. This is just going to make casting even cheaper. Once again, I like siphon, but we're not really using the mono wire that much. And then in a similar fashion, we don't need to worry about traces. Speculation is going to be really, really nice for this build. Anytime we neutralize an enemy, we get RAM 25% of the total cost of quick hacks that were on the target. And since we're working with things like Contagion and Overheat, this is going to cover us back quite a bit of RAM. Very nice skill. Uh, over here, this one is one of the last ones I pick up. That extra quick hack damage is nice, but it's kind of minimal. It's not something I would consider a priority. Overclock, obviously absolutely fantastic and the big benefit of this is the fact that it allows us to overcast and overcasting is going to be very important because one of the late game things we can pick up is the cybersomatic optimizer and that's going to be what allows us to pump out some insane damage with this build because of the 90 percent crit chance uh, the tier 4 has 90 percent the tier 3 has 30 percent so i'm not a giant fan of using it at tier 3 at tier 4 it becomes immediately worth it and we can go check in a little bit here but i've heard that the tier 5 is 100 percent crit chance which sounds bugged but if that's the case, that's a no brainer. And you know, the downside here is, well, hey, it's minus eight max RAM, but that's the thing. We're not worried about minus RAM because we have overclock and we can spend our health on that RAM. And that's kind of exactly what we're gonna do right here. So the idea here is once this thing's active, even though I technically wouldn't have the RAM to cast, I would if I overclock, and that's just gonna kill the cyber cycle immediately. So 
Once she wakes up, she's taking a minute. Come on, lady. Are you alive yet? Overclock. All right. I'll watch this. So we're going to do a cyberware malfunction. Cyberware. Cyberware. Now, I would be out of RAM, but I'm overclocked. So I can do a synapse burnout. 70,000 crit. Just absolutely melted. Just melted. Didn't have to do anything. She just went pop. That's it. Pop. Like a balloon. And I mean, like I said, I haven't played other builds on this yet. I don't know uh, how good the other builds are. But being able to just look at something, press a few buttons, not have to really aim or do anything like that, and an enemy takes a 70,000 damage crit and just explodes, that seems pretty OP to me. Uh, on top of that, we are playing on hard. Um, I haven't messed around with very hard, but I mean, I'd imagine the damage would be pretty comparable considering we're, we're not even in our, we're not even in the pur purple gear yet. Uh, back to what we were talking about, though, with leveling up and the intelligence and all that. Uh, so yeah, overclock is super useful, but I do think it is worth getting cube mastery because early on, until you have a lot of points, having the overclock isn't going to really help. The other thing is we need to be able to queue up multiple quick hacks on enemies to really take advantage of overclock to begin with. So I would suggest going the cube mastery and acceleration route first. Besides that, sublimation, Race Against Mind, Power Surge, these are all just going to be extra benefits once your build starts to come online. A uh, big thing that I did is going around doing the NCPD stuff, just going around doing those, those little calls, and you can actually find quite a few perk shards, so that definitely helps. Spillover is nice, but this is kind of like a finishing flourish. It's not something that I'm, I'm insanely worried about getting to. Uh, the spread is nice, but you know, even without this, you still have Contagion. I do like Car Hacker. This is going to get significantly better as you get a higher level because you'll get better quick hacks. Uh, once you're around, I believe it's level 30, this actually starts to be really useful because at that point you can just cause cars to like hit their brakes and whatnot uh, while they're trying to chase you or whatever the case is or take them over. Uh, once you're at level, uh, no, no, at level 30, we're able to blow them up, I think. I don't know. Either way, Car Hacker is nice. Uh, but working up this tree, we went quickly into acquisition specialist mainly just so we could come on over and pick up recirculation here we're barely using our smart weapon but if we're in a big fight that's just going to be feeding more ram back into us which is fantastic uh, from there we pick up target lock transfer and then before i pick up these two perks i made my way up here to smart synergy just to give us that extra damage while overclock is active now as for the relic tree the first thing i would actually pick up is going to be vulnerability analytics What's nice is this puts a little square on enemies, and what's crazy is the smart guns will auto-target this, so you don't even need to aim. The smart guns just go, oh, there's a weak spot, and they hit it. And obviously this just keeps going and going because your smart locks hit it. On top of that, because we are utilizing optical camo, I think emergency cloaking is super nice here, just allowing us to dip out in the event that things do get hairy, which usually we're fighting far enough away that it's not a huge concern, but it's still nice as a get out of jail free card. And then lastly, you could work your way over, uh, pick up the mono wire upgrade, which briefly talking about that, you can really use whatever you want here for the mono wire. Um, in particular, I put weapon glitch on it just because if something's close enough to me that it's a threat, I can slap it and that's going to detonate their weapon and then they have to switch to like a pistol or something. And while they're like, oh my god, my gun, you can just slap them in the face a couple times and kill them. So that's cool. Uh, but yeah, that's that's about it. It uh, it, it deals it deals some, some serious damage. Um, you know, like I said, just we're just able to, to do crazy amounts of stuff. Uh, other stuff. Tech, I picked up 9 points in tech to get Renaissance Punk. This just gives us better cyberware capacity. And then 15 into Reflex to get Air Dash because honestly, like, yes. Who doesn't want to do this running around the map? These cops are bad guys. So, even without doing anything crazy, we could just pop a double contagion. And this, this is what I don't get, like, so many people are like, oh, but they can, they can trace you now, you know, it's not as good as it used to be. Like, I didn't need to do anything. I just popped my contagions, and then, like, hey, they're tracing me, oh, well, they're dead. Like, that's wild. That's, you can't tell me that's not OP, the fact that I just, like, yeah, I think we're gonna kill y'all. I think, I think you're all, I think all of you gotta die right now. 
Like, that's, that's super silly to me. Uh, so we've done a lot of burst damage, but I do want to do a, a bigger encounter. I want to show how this works against, like, large groups of enemies. So I have a gig I've been saving while I was running around and leveling up. I had, uh, I've encountered one, and then I was like, oh, this would be perfect for, like, a build video. So we're going to run over and knock that out super close, and that'll allow us to fight a variety of enemies. Uh, kind of show how well this manages in situations where you're not just focusing down a single target. Which I think is an important part of, of playing with it. If you ever need to quick, you can just do that. They're all dead now. <laughs> See what I mean, man? Like, I don't even know what to compare this to, because, like, I, I can't think of anything in, like, you know, anime or, or media where we're just, like, looking at people and they're exploding. I guess, like, Elfin Lead, where, where the, the psycho, the, the chick is just making people blow up, but, like... This, this seems just absolutely busted to me. I go, this guy's running away? Oh, never mind. He's got it all blocked. Well, either way, I don't want to waste time. I want to I wanna keep this video uh, somewhat consistent on our timing. Otherwise, this is, this is why I'm so bad with build videos. Because there's like so much I like about this. And I'm just like, let me show you something. And then it's like a 45 minute video of me just blowing up enemies. I mean, this is what we've been doing on stream. We're just running around with this. And every time people are like, what is this build? Why Why is everything just melting? And I'm like, Netrunner, bro. It's, it's busted. It's good. Super good. Uh, talking about where to take this further, because we do have some points. <clears throat> After 15 and 9 here. I think cool makes sense, because I primarily use a pistol and a sniper rifle, but you could certainly go wherever you want with this. That's the nice thing about this, is once you hit 20 in intelligence, once you have this, you can do anything else you want, really. Everything else with this build is just icing on the cake. Extra cyber capacity, not necessary, icing on the cake. Air dash, wholly unnecessary, but icing on the cake. Making our pistols and our sniper better. Once again, unnecessary, but it feels good. And that's what I like so much about this build, is we are able to just, like, you know, you can be Mega Ultra Hacker Man and still have a ton of flexibility with the build and your approach and how you want to play. So let's see what we're working with here. I see a turret. I see a bunch of enemies. All right. Well, the first thing we're going to do is take control. Oh, hang on. I missed my take control. I canceled out of it, actually. This is another really fun thing that we can do. I thought there would be more. Oh, there's one. Is there anybody else? They all have like turrets. Oh, there's one. Man, I missed her. Oh, she gets close. We're done with that turret, so we're just going to make it overload. So, that guy is sniping. i show you how we can handle snipers here. Let's get a ping on him. Where was that sniper at? I don't even see him. Sniper? I 
This guy's a little stronger. I'll hit him with one of those. This will, get, this will get good. This guy will be a perfect example for the ping and why I like ping, though. So I seem to find anything to ping around here. So if for some reason we don't have eyes on an enemy and we can't hit him, well, which is not the case here. We do that. And I know we used to be able to see through walls. I don't know if that's like a perk now, but... It doesn't really matter, because... Ping. I don't want to go like this! Ugh. And then you just loot. You just loot on up. And like, we, we did- we just did all this- we- we didn't even get hit. Nobody shot us. We didn't even have to use our smart gun. We can just- uh, I don't want to mess with you. Go away. Like, this is wild to me. We're just, we just- we look at shit, it blows up. Keep keep doing that instead of jacking in. There we go. Uh, let's go 7A, 7A. Um, there's no BD1C combo here. There we go. Seems excessive. I think we're done. I'm just gonna walk through this and check and just finish this mission fully. I mean, like, the only time I took damage is when I was attacked while I was hacking something. I was literally playing around inside a menu. Is there like a, a big guy up top or something? You know, a head honcho that's gonna fight me here? I mean, the music's going, so I feel like there's somebody. Oh no, it's just the camera. Man, this transmitter takes Like, oh, look at this. I don't have the tech to turn the power off. Just kidding, it doesn't matter. Like that's Back in 2020, so good. We used him for pirate broadcasts. You know, Is that somebody? Blasting hardcore punk on bad no, frequencies. If you really wanted to be sneaky, so this must be you could have. You could have. Uh, I could have well, jumped through the camera system here and started killing people with my quick hacks through the camera network. I didn't even do that. That's the thing. This this build has like a whole stealth element to it you can utilize that we didn't even need to. You know, we can just go camera control while doing this, like, while outside of the base crouched. And then from this menu, we can just switch around and find everyone we want. And then just be like, oh, there's a guy there. All right, we're going to kill him. We're going to blow that up. We're going to blow this up. You know, like, it's wild, dude. Anyway, point is, quick hack builds are super fun. Uh, being able to just, you know, detonate stuff on command and blow up enemies. Oh, somebody's alive. Where did y'all come from? What the hell is this? Uh, Contagion will kill them off. Is there anybody else? Yeah, there is. There's some people here. Oh, no, that's just a thing. We're done. Oh, he's dead. I 
I declined the call, but I think that mission passed. Yeah, it did. So, yeah. That is the Netrunner build. Uh, like I said, a lot of fun to play. You just kind of blow stuff up. Uh, nothing really gets in your way, you know? It doesn't matter what you fight against, you know? You're fighting you're fighting against a, a heavy robot, short circuit and cyberware malfunctions, it's dead. You're fighting against a boss, synapse burnout, it's gonna be dead. You're fighting against a bunch of enemies, contagion. You wanna really heat up things, drop an overheat on stuff. You wanna infiltrate the network and use their miniguns or their cameras, you can do all that. Like, I have never played a build in a game that made me feel as much of an untouchable god as this build does because the simple fact is i control everything and i don't even have to fight unless i feel like it i can just sit back but i might be like ah, oh, you know i think i'll get involved with my smart gun a little bit why not so either way we're gonna wrap things up there definitely try it out y'all this is i've had so much fun playing through Phantom Liberty in this. And it's about to get crazier, because since I hit level 40 while recording this, I'm going to go upgrade everything. And that's just going to put this to a whole new level of shenanigans. But either way, I'm wrapping things up here. Thanks for coming by. I'll catch you all next time.